So today we are off to Wales and we have hired a cottage in the middle of nowhere where it's just you, me and the camera and we're going to discover round there and you're going to spend the whole day with Random and Desperate and the two dogs. So I want you to join me on this little adventure to Wales. Let's go folks. station round about 100 mile away and there's no way I'm stopping here it's got a Marks and Spencers Marks and Spencers a biddy shop coffin dodger shop no we'll go to the next one I know that is hopefully praying that is a Burger King because there's nothing like going on a journey an experience on a road trip stopping at service stations we all do it we all enjoy the adventure, the long journey, the trek to a mystic location, but we need a pee and we need food and we need healthy food. Burger King, fingers crossed, Burger King, Burger King. A lot of my subscribers have asked me to do more solo journeys, solo adventures without guests appearing on it. Now I've been listening to you folks and I understand where you're coming from when this journey, where this experience started with Random and Desperate. They, it was just me, me and, and my truncheons of joy. But I've introduced a lot of new characters on this channel. And, I'm, and what I'm gonna do, uh, next year I'm gonna do a lot of solo adventures, depending on, let's just say, the, the cost, the silver purse, the dollar, where I can go. But I am, I've listened to you folks, and I respect every single one of you lovely comments especially the bad ones so i will next year random and desperate will do quite a few videos of just me on my travels <laughs> super excited when the bus the coach pick you up and you went to a school outing or a scout outing without your mum and dad without the shackles of life which were your parents and you could be yourself just for a few hours with your mates and I love to go back in time and experience that joy once again <laughs> do things a lot differently like you would Right folks, we are in the service station now and unfortunately there isn't a Burger King but there's one better than Burger King McDonald's I've just been fueled up from McDonald's and I'm off back in the car back to Wales. I'm really looking forward to this little adventure to be honest with you. I have it's I've never been to Wales in the middle of nowhere. Do you know like a little country out the way retreat with you, I and a couple of dogs. Well, this is Mop, by the way. There you go, Mop. There she is. And this is Trash Cam. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Mop. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, go, Mop. <laughs> now, Trash has already had, had her. Trash, here go, Trash. And there you go, Mop.
Bums. <lacht> Just come off the main road just to, to let the doggies out here. Now let me just introduce you to these two doggies. This is Trash Cam and this is Mark. Now just check this view out folks. We've just crossed that bridge just, just over there and look at this. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? In the Welsh, in the middle of the Welsh countryside. Now look at that over there, seeing that little building over there in the middle of the river. Wow. Wonder how you get over there, that would be interesting. But in it in it beautiful folks. Absolutely lush. Nature in all its glory. Wow. I'm glad to be back in Wales. A different concept of Wales. Because last time I was here, I was in Landudno. And now we've just come off, just gone past Banga. Banga. And we're now here. Wow, look at this stunning scenery. Nature in all its glory. Wow. Come on ladies, come on. <laughs> wow, isn't it beautiful folks? Welcome to Wales, beautiful. Now we're gonna carry on our journey to our little retreat in the middle of nowhere.
finally have arrived. Now this has, is our little cabin for two for two nights. So I want you to come and join me on this little adventure. And we're going to have a look around the main place itself. Now we are in the middle of nowhere, which is exactly what we wanted to be out the way from technology, phones, laptops, TVs, computers, all the politics of life. And this is where we're stopping tonight. Our little cabin for, t for two nights. So let's have a quick look. What I'll do, I'll give you a quick guided tour. This is the hot tub. We have our own personal hot tub. And let's just come in here. Now this is the kitchen. Check this out. The kitchen and the living area. Wow, look at this. I can see myself lying here, watching a bit of TV, some Netflix, a film. But isn't it beautiful, folks? Kitchen, check out this wooden table. That's quite unique. Look at this, sweeties. They know me well. Sweeties, nice kitchen. Nice kitchen. What's in here? Well, this is the kids' room. If we did, if we did bring me two little girls, this is their room. It's all right, actually. It's nice and cosy, and it's lovely and warm. And also, we've got some games. Oh, cute. Some games, some playing cards. Fart game, interesting. Out in here, toilet, <laughs> laughter on the loo. I like that. Toilet, washing machine, sink. Now this is just there's two uh, two bathrooms in here. One for the kids and one for us. And I'll take you to where all the love, the joy, the excitement begins. Especially if you go away as a couple. In here, check that bed out. Wow. Coat hangers. Now I did. I was watching another YouTuber called the Chatter, the Chatter Gang. I'll put the link at the bottom. The and they count coat hangers one, two, and they said four coat hangers per person. So let's see if they've got it right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Chatter Gang, if you're watching, what do you think? Four coat hangers each. Check them out, they're quite, they're quite funny. They do a lot of Blackpool vlogs as well. And let's check out, this is the main bathroom. Nice big shower there, toilet. There we are folks. That is the tour of the cabin. The cabin deep in the woods, in this Welsh land. Wow. So, I'm going to sit here, contemplate my thoughts, and I wonder where the pubs are. Oh, it's nice. It took around about two hours to get here. Beautiful well scenery, absolutely lush. And I'll check back with you in a bit, because this is going to be a super long video of what I get up to in this little cabin in the middle of nowhere in Wales. Well... Well, now this was £130 for one night, and we stopped here two nights, so it's going to £260. Nice and warm, bit of a retreat, bit of relax, bit of different content. Mm. Nice. I'll check back with you in a bit. What do you think of this place? It is in the middle of nowhere. And I'll show you the time. It is four o'clock. And all city people, especially from here from Manchester, 
four o'clock and look how quiet it is. Yeah, you've got a car just here. Wow, different world. Different world. It certainly is beautiful. Check this out. Seems to be the only ones around it, which is exactly what the doctor ordered. Wow. Look at this. You won't guess this is rush hour. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? Would I like to live somewhere like here, out the middle of the sticks? Definitely. There's so much adventures. Look at that. Up there. There's so many little adventures I could do around here. Wow. Trees, woods, nature in all its glory. Now we're in what's called Talwin, is it? Talwin? If I've said that right. In part of Anglesey. I can't believe how quiet it is. The dogs love it. There's mop and trash. Enjoying a little country walk in the middle of Talwin in Wales. Beautiful, isn't it? It reminds me of these old fashioned films in the 50s and 60s where people used to live all over the UK. Wow. So we'll carry on up here. Out the road, mop, it's rush hour. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. Check it out. Ten fields. No blocks of flats, no smell of bus fumes. Toxic, no toxic air. Deep breath. Wow. And look, there's another car coming, folks. It's rush hour around here. Wow. <laughs> Come on, you two. Right, I'll check back with you in a bit or I'll find some more footage I could film up there round here <laughs> a school up there friendly little town Talwin is in the middle of nowhere I've just passed a lady she says something what is good afternoon which you don't hear around Manchester and there was a gentleman in his car who waved at me wow this is what Britain used to be like the social interaction between neighbours upon neighbours but we live in a world where there's too many of us thanks to the baby boom and society as a whole, but we don't have the common courtesy to say good morning, because there's too many of us. Well, check them hills out in the distance. Well, it is going dark now, folks, so I'm going to end this little, this little trip. But there will be more footage to come in recent days. I'm going to make this as one big video, because the GoPro setting, the GoPro is not that good, the camera I'm using when it starts to go dark. Different world, different experience. I think what we might do, we'll either make something to eat in this Airbnb, this cabin in the woods, or in the countryside, shall we say, or we'll go to the local pub. We might go to the local pub tomorrow. We'll see, we'll see, but wow. Beautiful, isn't it? Just what we need is to chill, relax, from the hustle and bustle of the modern world. I'll catch up with you in a bit, folks. Busy round here. Wow, there's two cars, folks. Two cars. 
Rush hour started <laughs> in Talwyn in Wales. The dogs are absolutely loving it round here. All the scents, all the, the smells. <laughs> well. Morning world, welcome to another day in paradise. Right, if we check the weather out there, it's not the best, but it's still a beautiful place to be, isn't it? Oh, what, we, did, we had to walk all the way down there yesterday, so what we'll do, we'll try and adventure over there and see what's mystery our adventure awaits. But first of all, we're going to get some breakfast. Now, we've, not, we've got something healthy today, which is wheat bix Now, I like these cupboards. You, you just press, press it like that, and it opens. So, we have some breakfast. Just show you what's in our cupboard. We've got wheat bix dog food, biscuits, mince pies. Because when I'm filming, it's near Christmas and crisps. But check them roses out, aren't they beautiful? Wow. So I'm just going to make some breakfast for my bed. Now what I'm going to do folks, I'm going to do my weekly podcast for Patreon. Now if you don't know about that, I do personal blogs about life in general and about myself. So I'm going to do my own personal blog. Well, I use it through my phone, I'll give you an example of what I do. Welcome to Random and a Desperate. Well today's blog, I'm currently in Wales in Talwyn. In a nice luxury cottage with two small dogs, which are mop and trash can. What we're going to talk about today is the importance of getting away, getting away from the hustle and bustle of life in general. And sometimes it's hard for us city people, as we call it, if we're not used to, let's say, surround luxury surroundings like this, because where I am, I'm in Talwyn, which is just at the border of Wales, it's in Wales, in Anglesey, and it's really quiet, there's no one around, there's no people, there's just bunches of trees. We have a road system which is just outside the cabin, and it's there might be one car an hour if you're lucky. There is a corner shop, which is just a few meters away, which are only open for one hour a day. It's extremely difficult sometimes. We all have problems, we all have issues to deal with, and that's why it's important to go on these holidays, to go on these existence, and feel the relax, the chill, the warmth of the middle of nowhere. And that's why I'm doing this blog today, and this weekly blog on, on my podcast, 
on my Patreon site is about the art of relaxing, finding your niche, finding your special place in the world, that one place where you can go and you can just put your feet up, relax, either win a can of beer, a bar of chocolate, a full fat Coke, or a doner kebab in extra chili sauce. Where your special place is, that's where you need to go. As I, I always try and amplify or encourage mental health. It's the biggest part of what I do on YouTube. What I do on this Patreon site is to encourage people to look after themselves. Because I've said this, loads of people, if you cut yourself, if you fall to the ground and scratch your knee, you pick yourself up, wipe it down and put a plaster on. But mental health is a bit more difficult to heal because you cannot put a plaster on inside your head. You've got to find a way to let yourself go, to let yourself breathe, to let yourself feel, to let yourself want and relax. And sometimes getting away from whatever you're used to in life or doing something completely different is that's what you need to do. I'm currently looking a beautiful dog, I call her trash can, as we speak in this tailwind cabin. She's looking out, outside of all the, how quiet and unique it is. And even Mop, as we, as I'm looking at Mop now, who sat on my knee, who is lovely and warm, looking out to the beautiful scenery, she is relaxed as well. Because animals, especially dogs, they feel your warmthness, your relax, your chilling amina in life. So it's extremely important as a human, as a person, as an existence, that we look after ourselves and then we can look after each other. So if you go away to a place of quietness, you go on your own or you go with a friend, a loved one, a special person in your life and they say to you you're a little bit different this morning you're a bit more quieter it's because you're in that relaxing state you're in that relaxing existence what heals this thing what's in your brain what's in your head your brain the most important organ on in your existence is this thing up there and I say, if you wear brand new shoes and you and your shoes rub you, you put a plaster on, you fix it. But upstairs, there's other ways to relax and treat yourself. Mental health is real, folks. We all suffer from it. I'm a man who's been brought up in the 80s, 90s, what's been told to, you're a man, rough it, get on with it. Very not true. The biggest killer in this world for men is falling on your own sword. Is, let's just say, doing things what you shouldn't do. And what we need is support as a society, as the world, as a world, to concentrate more on mental health. They have hospitals all over the country, all over the world, to fix broken bones to give people operations, to give people a chance on life. But where are the mental health hospitals? There used to be them in the 30s, 50s and 60s where they used to lock people up because they thought they was insane. But instead, why don't we try and treat them by easiest way, love, care, relax and friendship. It's the biggest cure of any mental health, support, loyalty and love. It's dead simple. That is your magic potion. That is your medicine in life. My camera on now in this Talwin luxury cottage. Now I've been told by many of my subscribers, my lovely fans out there who watch this channel, who get enjoyment out of it, that my voice is very relaxing, very chilling, very warm, and it helps people go to sleep. And a lot of a lot of, let's just say, my ladies, my gentlemen who watch this channel said it helps their mental state by just listening my voice.
because they have told me on many occasions that I have a certain voice what relaxes people where they feel warmth and comfort which I didn't know till I started these YouTube blogs that I've been comfort to so many wonderful people out there and you are wonderful people never forget that everyone every living species even if it's just a tiny little fly or a tiny little spider on the wall they're so important to this whole world even a spider for example people when there is a spider in someone's house they go oh no it's a spider it's got all eight legs spider has a a unique design to feel scared of it's so vulnerable because we can just squash it in a heartbeat it's there and it looks ugly to protect itself so big things like us don't squash it and keep away from it but instead of being fearful from it work together let your spider who sits in the corner for days and even months on end to do what it's meant to do let it build its web and, let it, and one spider in one house will clear the whole house of any flies, disease written, cockroaches, because that's what it's designed to do. It's designed to catch this, these bad, I want to call them bad, but I would just call it for this example, these toxic thoughts, let's just say. And what I'm getting at is we all have a spider in the corner of our brain in the corner of our room and what do we do we track we get rid of it don't get rid of it people make it a part of you make, make it you we all have that dark little spot in the corner of our room in the corner of our brain accept it move on and learn to live with it now i'm currently in is it Tanweer in Wales in this luxury cottage, relaxing, chilling with my feet up? And the and trash is keeping me occupied. We've also got Mop here. And I've just done a podcast on Patreon. And I've just given a few examples of... Shh. I'm trying to do this. I've not forgot yet. And I've just give you an example what i do every tuesday i talk about mental health life as a youtube and personal stuff now if you do want to check it out people have a look at my patreon and i hope it helps a few people out there right we're going out now folks we're going to explore realms all right i'm taking you out <laughs> come on susan stop <laughs> she wants to go out for a walk. I'll catch up with her outside. Have you finished? A bit cold out there. Look at this, eh? Look at this. Let's put this on. Come on. Keep still. That's it. Keep still. Keep still. This won't fit you. Keep still. Right. Mop. Mop, you're too fat. You're too fat. She's, she's too fat. Can't get this on her. Oh, it's up. Tubby. Come here, Tubby. Well, you can have a cold. You've had too much hot dogs. Come here. Can we get this on her? <laughs> Come on, Tubbs. Right, you ready, girls? Are you ready? Let's go, girls. Let's go and discover the mystery shop what only opens an hour a day. Yeah? Have you got a, have you got any cash on you? No. At least take cash. Got four quid. That buy some coke. 
you better hold the keys, you know what I'm like. Are you ready, Tubbs? There we go, morning, folks. Now we're just outside. Check this out. Just going for another 10 o'clock, and we're going to find this mystical shop. Thank you. This way, kid, to the shop. Middle of nowhere. I wonder how people meet each other around here. Let's just say, two lovers in the mist. One lives at one house, one lives at other. So there is our cabin just over there, where that white car is. What's all scratched? And <laughs> now we're going to carry on down. Oh, some nice new houses down here. But it is nice around here, dead peaceful, out the way of the hustle and bustle of modern day city living. Now the good thing is it has got payments, but as like anything, it's around about 10 o'clock folks and there is no one around. The occasional car, little cottages dotting around. Right folks, we're on the main street now, so what we'll have to do is look left, look right, and cross. They need a pedestrian crossing round here, it's that busy. <laughs> now where we're going folks, there is a community shop round here, and the weirdest thing is, it's only open for one hour, from 10 till 11. So it must be like a government sponsored shop, because really, technically we're in the middle of nowhere, and the, the locals, which is not many around here, will probably need to buy their substance, their fags, alcohol, eggs, bacon. So we're going to find this mystery shop. Now we just look to the left, on the right there, it looks like a walkway there. We could have like a little adventure in a bit. Some fields or something. I'll have to investigate that over there. The dream home, definitely the dream certainly is wow maybe one day when i have a hundred thousand subscribers now there's a gentleman up here you see him he's got some supplies so we are going the way to the shop there he is now good for, oh, is, is it a lady or a gentleman All right, thank you very much. Are you staying here? Yeah, I'm just staying at the cottage down here. All oh, right. It's open every morning, 9 to 11. Yeah. Newspapers, chocolate yeah. sweets, free tea, coffee, soup, if you want that. Free? Yeah, well, we're, we're warm spaces. All right, okay. Every morning we offer tea, coffee, soup, porridge. Yeah. Um, um, ice creams, left cups. They're pretty friendly if they want to eat. Yeah. He's a gentle giant. Oh, is it? <laughs> Oh nice, yeah. yeah. I, I'm, uh, I'm the secretary of the village hall, so oh, uh, I yeah. tend to proselytise about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and there's a dog run area as well. Is that what's the problem? So if you if you go to the shop, yeah. um, the dog run area is actually behind that chapel, but to do right, there you've okay. got to go around. So go to the shop and then you go into there's a playing area, there's a football pitch. Yeah. Behind the football pitch there's a triangular area gated with four foot by fence, which is the dog run area. Right. Let them off. Yeah. Thanks very much. Nice to meet you. Nice Enjoy to meet you. Take care. See you later. Bye. Apparently there's a shop down here. He said that gentleman did say past ten houses. Turn left and there's a shop just on the corner here. 
and I've still got this dog bag. I can't go in with poo bag. Turn so, left onto Thailand dog. So there's a shop apparently, and it's a communion shop for the for the local people. But they're really friendly folks around here. Really friendly. Everyone I spoke to, which isn't many, <laughs> they're really friendly. And they're talking about a plains field where the dogs can have a run around, which is a bonus. But first we need to find this shop in the middle of nowhere. Wow. Wow. Village hall and everything. It's a village hall. Shop and playing fields. Oh, there we go. A little shop. Now, here's an interesting one. Will they accept card payments? Only got round about three quid. Mm. Oh yeah. Hello. We didn't know this shop existed. I had a WhatsApp to say you were coming down. How oh, did you know? Because <laughs> Andrew. Yeah. He sort of runs the shop. Ah right. He's, okay. He's the one that keeps it going, really. Do you live in the village? No, no. We're just we're from Manchester. We, we just wanted to get away for a little bit. Oh, you were day. just for yeah, a so weekend? Yeah, right. so we hired a little cottage just down the road. Oh, lovely. And but and we saw we saw this on the map and thought we'd just got to check it out. <laughs> well, it's just basics. Yeah. It's not, uh, it's not a delicatessen. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see, I'm going to treat myself. You have to treat yourself, don't you? Yeah. The flapjacks are quite popular. Which one? Which yeah, one? here. Okay. They've even got vegan ones. Oh, no, I don't have that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what's in this vegan food. Exactly, I'll have a... Processed stuff. Exactly, roll out a snip. Oh, I did see them. Two of them. And get some... You don't have any full fat... Oh, you got full fat coke. Full fat coke. Lemonade. Wow. Mm. Nice little. Thank you. That's it, thank That's you. That's 190, please. Frank, take. Yeah, you can have all of that. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, put it up, put it in. No, you've given me far too much. No, 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 you, you keep it, you keep it. Well, you've actually given me £2.50 too much. Oh, put it in your pot. Put it in your okay. charity pot. I'll put it in the Marie Curie then. Okay. Thank you very much. What's it going to be? What's your name, by the way? I'm Isabel. Isabel. And your name is? My name's Random. Random? Yeah. I'm a YouTuber, you see. Oh, I see. So, I, I like going around the country, the world. R A N D O M. Yeah, ran, okay. random and desperate on YouTube. It's called. Oh, it's what I do for up. a living. <laughs> so you make money out of it. I do, yeah. Oh, that's so, good. Basically, people just follow me all over the world. And go little places like this, and, and people follow me and stuff like. It's quite good. Excellent. So, yeah. It's lovely to meet you, and yours is a lovely name, by Thank the way. Thank you very much. Thank Random you. Random and desperate. That's the mate. <laughs> Bye Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Well, folks, they knew it was coming. Apparently, that gentleman, what's that, that lady, Isabel, I think she called Isabel, that we've got two special guests coming. But we managed to get full fat coke and some spray. Should we go and check that? And we got some lunches as well. Full 
fat, full sugar, maximum flavour, maximum strength. In a local village. Heaven in a can. So this is a play area and what we're going to do there's a church just there I don't even can see it but that's what we're going to check out go this way this way come on I like the dogs around here don't they you see over there Check that field out there on the left. Wow. And this is where dogs play around here. Look at the little dog park, I'm going to say. But this is what the UK, Britain used to be like years ago. Come on. How are the basketballs there? Come on, Mop. Get me Coke. One minute. Check this out, folks. This nice little church here. Wow. Look at this. Check that out, wow. That Murial, beautiful. I like these old churches, these old community centres. Wow. See the bell there, right on the top. It's not being run. Oh, hello! There's them donkeys, they've been following us all the time. <laughs> well, now we're back to the main road. Now this is how quiet it is round here. I'm on the main road on town with and there's not a car inside. Wow. <laughs> this is weird actually. Walking on the main road. You can't do this in Manchester. I would have been knocked down by a bus by now. Just found, get pricked to death here. Yeah. What is that there? Yeah. Check this out, looks like an old fashioned well. Where that goes. Wow. I know it's what it's like around here, folks. Just 
check this old school out. Wow, check it out. Now, unfortunately, this is closing it just before Christmas and they're moving everyone from the local village to a, a bigger, probably corporation giant school. But it's sad, it's sad really to see. So there's round about 40 children in this school. But, but in this the kind of school you would like to go go to when you was a little boy, a little girl. Let's go and have a quick nosy. It is sad because you look, especially around Manchester where we live, you can't really go around any school it's all fenced in. Oh, look at old fashioned school in there. Definitely something from the 80s, 80s and 90s. What a terrific place to come for a school. All it is is a basic skill with no fenced in. Oh, it's sad to see this place close. So at the Christmas time, this place is gone. We moved it up. Look at that old school bell there. <laughs> wow. And check this view out. Check what we've got here. Look at this, folks. Wow. But this is what you call a school, right on the edge of farmland. Morning, cows. You can always tell it's going to rain because if you look at the cows, they always sit down. As soon as they sit down, they get the body heat from the earth and it'll pass through their body. And it's like any, anywhere. If, if you have a cold in every in the middle of somewhere, the best thing to do is lie down because you'll create a natural barrier for yourself. Here's an inter that's an interesting fact. Let's check this one out. Good morning, cow. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, you beautiful, are you? Look how beautiful you are. I know, I know. You're all wet, kid, aren't you? You're all wet. I wonder what you're thinking of. Nature in all its glory. <laughs> Oops, this is Tan Win, and this is the main junction which was built in the 70s. Now, if you just look across there, I'll just cross over here. If you just look across there, apologise about the wind, I say we're in, we're in Wales and it's always like this. Just look over there here now this here with the first shop in town win and a couple which was spoken to before you saw that gentleman before that he, he was when he was going to the shop he was telling us he bought this house and yes and this was the original shop but look here but this well this was built in 1820 1820 wow wow and also if you look just across here on the here this used to be the old post office which closed down which has now been renovated to a house which is just opposite our cottage our cabin but he also were telling us that the shop they have a communal center and they have like clubs where they go to fishing club i like to find a fishing club baby club and they've actually got a bar in there as well so if, if we did come at a different time but it's beautiful isn't it beautiful but this was this is where this gentleman was saying wow 
Now apparently they used to be, there was one pub in Tanwin, which we're going to visit, but it would close down in the 1920s where, where there's a bit of history of politics going about. Let's just say pubs with the history feel, bus stop. So we're going to find this old fashioned pub. Busy today, two cars. That was the only pub in the village, but it closed down in the 1920s due to some religion act and where most pubs were closed down back then. And this was one of the one of the casualties of it. Now here it is on the left. There, the white horse is crossing here. The white horse. Look. This was an original pub years ago, the White Horse. And it was the only pub in the village. But closed down unfortunately. Closed down. It's a shame. I won't mind a quick pint. But don't worry, we'll find a local pub around here at some point. Check this out. Something like from the monster days. Beautiful, isn't it? Wow. Like a haunted house. I wonder if anyone lives there. Let's go around the back. Wow. Bye girls, we're going to the pub. This is where we're going to have a pint of the golden neck. And it's still windy in Wales. Apparently it's always windy in Wales. But that's where we're going. Come and join me for a pint of golden nectar in its finest. Now hopefully it is full of the Welsh ladies, the, the Welsh people speaking. I've never I've not heard of any anyone 
who speaks Welsh. So, let's go in here. What's it called? Patent Arms. That is an interesting pub. Let's go in here. Right, folks. Pie of the pie of the first golden net which is shipyard, which we which didn't know it's over there. We've actually got real ale, old speckle, which is one of my favourites. So cheers to the first pie. Good sniff of golden nectar. Oh, sex in sex in a pie. to start at four o'clock but because we let's just say so we keen or random wants a pizza said so be ready in half an hour so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna drink this pint of golden nectar order another drink and then we're gonna have our food we're gonna have a starter and main and hopefully we can finish it off we might even have a sweet to end this little adventure of our escapades round Wales and this is Tam Weir. Sounds like a plan. Mm -hmm. Right folks, I've just had a pint of shipyard and I've seen the real ales over there. And I think I'm going to have a pint of proper British real ale, a Welsh real ale. Sounds like a plan. I didn't see them before, I'm so disappointed. That's what I'll do. Cheers. Gypsy girl is on a galley, but look at that. That's just your starter kid. And this is what I'm having, which is hummus. I've got a thing about hummus. Try this hummus. Oh, that is good. That is good. Mm. Hummus. Chickpeas, extremely healthy fire. It's weird, isn't it? Random, eating healthy, but this is lush. This is lush, folks. Garlic cheese done in a wood oven. Mmm, no difference, can't it? This has been made in a wood oven. Look at that. And look how many. Look at all this on here. Wow. And what have you got? You want to tell them? A double Welsh burger with chips, coleslaw, side salmon, with Vanish vinegar. It's like. That sounds like a side. Look at this. Oh, my, my stomach was not going to be good in the morning. <laughs> Spice. Now look at all these on here, wow. Look at this. Mm. Made 
you know, whoop them. Mm. Nice pop. Look at this. Well, well, folks, that was a really, really nice meal, especially the pizza. The what's called it? Cut by oven baked, wood baked, wood burner, wood burner meal. Excellent. Now what we're going to do? We're going to have a look round here and see what. I know it's a really busy town, as you can see, and this is all it is really. But it is nice, and this place is in. There you go. There's the name of the pub. We have a taxi So what we'll do, I'll have a look down here and see what interesting things we can see. Wow, little church there. Get married if you want. Bus stop. Graves. Look at that church up there. Beautiful. I'll have to check it out. 1893. Wow. What a glorious church. Now you look at the top. 1882. Sweet cheese, one cheese. Mm. Hello. I think we've been recognised. That's the end of the adventure. We've stopped here two nights. It's cost her two hundred and sixty pound for two nights in the middle of nowhere, Tawin. Now it is really recommended to come to these places because it's more relaxing for us 
let's just say city people to get out the way of the hustle and bustle of modern day life and would i come here again i'll probably pick somewhere else not to say it's an, not a nice place to come but it's an adventure i have done i will put the links of the airbnb underneath if you're interested in booking or stopping but you want to go out the way somewhere in anglesey in wales try this place and remember the guy opposite the old gentleman try the village shop well worth it and also check out that haunted or mystical house on top of the hill which is just past the post office now we did have a walk back later on at night time and there is lights on at the bottom so someone is actually living there but it's one of them houses where it come out from a horror film and it's just up the road from here and we was a bit apprehensive of walking back just in case a guy come with let's just say a leather jacket on and an old-fashioned freddy krueger hat holding an axe following us back to this ca the cabin and he's out there now in the bushes watching us super scary up there folks but check it out check it out it's probably some old lady or truthfully probably some old lady some old gentleman who's lived there since a little boy a little girl and they've not really done anything that's their childhood home but check it out it really is super interesting and let me know if you ever stop here and you but visit the haunted house and visit the pub and visit that communal cafe, communal shop so thanks for joining and we had some special guests which are mop who's fast asleep over there and also we have trash cam and also a personal thank thank you to the gypsy girl who drove all the way here to do this adventure with random so thanks for watching people and I'll see you again next time. Now what I'm going to do, our last night we're going to watch some TV. With some crisps. And some munchies. Sounds like a plan. And I think someone is going to enjoy this as well. But do you not allow chocolate because it's poison for dogs. Thanks for watching folks. I'll see you again next time for whenever the adventure begins. And hopefully I can do more of these solo adventures around places of the UK, but I would like to go more isolated, completely in the middle of nowhere, and at, let's say old fashioned mansion, right at the top, what's been boarded up for years. That sounds my imagination, playing a bit of game with me, but cabin in the woods, and let's say a mansion right at the top, was all boarded up, the old asylum. Mm, that would make a story. Thanks for watching people, and I'll see you again next time. Say bye, trash. Say bye. You're not woofing. <laughs>